myself and as much as the Toronto in the rear. Alright, so this video is day in the life of the second lieutenant, squad evaluations, TOs. They actually conducted the training, to, um, training the soldiers up and everything. So now we're out here being evaluated by the company. And right now, we're over here, they're about to roll out for mission. But before they roll out for mission, we're doing a test fire with their blanks. I'm rolling out with first squad, and we're gonna see uh We're gonna see what happens on this mission. So they just finished their test fire. Now they're coming back and the squad leader is going to get out. He's going to head to the company CP and he's going to give his trip ticket, right? So the trip ticket is the trip ticket has vehicle by bumper number, what type, what weapon systems they're carrying, sensitive items and what personnel. So you you're tracking where your people are at all times. So you got to have your ACHs at all times whenever you get in a vehicle. But it looks like my ride is here. So I'm going to hop in truck 212 and I'm gonna take the camera away. So uh, appreciate it, special more. So now this is the view you guys are gonna be getting when it comes to actually filming. Well, it's chalk order. Four liter Alpha Bravo Tony. Sustains. What do you guys want to sustain? The, mo the momentum oh. that we were working with was uh, pretty good. Everybody reacted well. Alright. Anything else? So I like, uh, well, for the most part, for the two trucks up there. Basically, once we got set, we hit the ground running, got up the uh, DCP and all that shit. Got ready to go. Anything else? Uh, putting the medic in between the two buildings. They at least have cover from uh, both sides. Just have people covering the enemies. From the towers? Uh, I had Swanson, I was asking him questions, and he was able to look over the wall. Let me know who was coming through there. Also, I was able to see very close to the bridge. Keep going around so close to the bridge. Kind of have the back look thick and you can see everything. I think that was a good idea. So, you guys provided that next to right? So, you got in, you guys saw the area. That's good. Uh, uh, truck was, it's a good spot, but I feel like if I was to put it in the middle of the, this is the critical, if I put it like in the middle of the gate, so I could still watch that side, and then if we took fire from... Hey, there's a fire There's a fire on There's a fire on Other shoulder, other shoulder. Oh. Okay, that's good. Any other proofs? We need to better communicate with our 3Ds. Because yeah. so we'd call out, uh, contact, contact, but there was no direction, distance, anything like that. So we need to improve on that one. Uh, some people we could hear it, but we had no idea where it was coming from. From north, south, east, west, two, ten, nothing. Right. Any other proofs? I think we needed some marking for who died person because when I secured the gate, I'm still confusing who's died, who's not died. So I think we need a marking zone. We're good. Um, I don't really see any issues there. The only real things that I have to criticize are really not the worst thing in the world are like catchable things. So like I know it's hot out and uh, the missions can be a little boring but like don't really relax your guard so much because there was a lot of that going on. Um, 
if y'all if y'all are ever standing around in the open, that's probably not the right answer. Um, at least like take a knee next to a building or something like that. Uh, he feeds you and you look weak, you look not ready. That's when they're going to attack, right? So us being down in the turret, I'm not calling anybody out. But us being down in the turret, us not scanning. As a gunner, if you can't see an area, tell your driver, tell your TC, hey, I can't fucking see shit around this corner. I can't reach the top of this hill with this 249 because we're too close to it. Tell your TC, hey, move me back some, move me here. It'll help you out, it'll save a life. Little shit like that, communicate. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Running around, like, hey, is this truck up? Use your radio, you know what I'm saying? If we get shot from this hill, and we don't know who the fuck's up there, we can't see 10, 20 feet in there, I want to be in cover at all times. Because after we took contact, after everything calmed down, there were still people walking around in the middle. Another team comes over that hill, we're all fucked up. So little shit like that. Keep your defensive posture high at all times.